we would like to know very much if you're having a good time. If you're doing this all by yourself, it is helpful to make contact. Make contact with us. We're happy to, uh, to talk with you on the phone or make emails or something. Because otherwise you're kind of by yourself, encouraging yourself. And it is true, Kumne is an individual practice, but if you can communicate with somebody else about it, it, it just goes deeper. Sometimes you can, maybe there's a friend in your area you can do it with, or you can practice at the same time, even that will be a help. So now we're going a little bit deeper, and what we're focusing on on this level is circulating. We're focusing on circulating. We're focusing on expanding throughout the body. And we're focusing on accumulating feeling. So now you really become a doctor. You become some kind of person who con concocts. Now you're really doing inner alchemy pretty soon. I don't know if that's exactly true, but you know what I mean. Now you start to work with the feelings. In the beginning, you do exercises and you sit and what's happening? Oh, lots of sensations and energy. Then you go more to deeper layers. But now we're going a step further. Is make the energy circulate. So if you sit there, you don't, you don't push stuff around. It's not like that. It's a very delicate instruction you give yourself because the body is filled with awareness. Whether you are awake there or not, it's filled with awareness. So if you say throughout the body, a gentle instruction, a, 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 yeah, a sweet command, a neutral command, and ideally a little bit sweet, feelings throughout the body. You don't have to push it in directions and check. Throughout the body. Well, what about the left leg? Or what about the right shoulder? The sentence there. Circulating. Then it's important to deepen and to expand. We talked about the deepening where you go in and you go deeper and below and lower to the level below that. But expanding is also very important. You first expand throughout the body, then a little bit outside the physical body, as if like a couple of inches or centimeters, just around your skin, as if the feelings and sensations can go outside. But I won't start with that until your whole body internally is alive with feelings and sensations. Not like a beautiful field with Feelings and sensation might be just a patch here and an area there and something here. But sooner or later, it becomes one open space, like a transparent body. That's what we're aiming for. An empty body, transparent, not clouded. Of course, there are all the organs in there and the tissues, but energetically, it is transparent. So the energy can circulate. Then you expand first throughout the body, then a little bit outside the body, and then Keep going out. You can use the exhale to let it go out. But don't forget that you bring it back in. So you expand, expand, and at some point invite it back in because it has merged with space and light from outside. And then finally, we go to accumulate feeling. Now that's really a special activity. It's a little bit like a power plant made up of water and a dam. So you accumulate. The biggest power you have to do that is your ability to concentrate. It's like you stay very closely with it. Mix a little bit of the subtle breath because the subtle breath will actually make it thicker. Your awareness can hold it, but the interaction of feeling and the subtle breath makes it thicker. We call it the cream of Pune. So you're accumulating feeling. And it's amazing. It's not like you're adding anything. You just are interacting with the feelings and they become thicker and richer and um, deeper. So let's see if you understand it. Just if you think the term circulating, expanding, and accumulating and see what you can do with that. So good luck. Especially accumulating is a very special Kumne practice.